Welcome back YouTube, Titan Fragrance Reviews. I'd like to first send a big thank you for everyone. We are over 100 subscribers in just over a week and a half. I can't express to you enough how excited I am about it. Thank you. Um, so again, if you would help out the channel, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to bring up as much content as possible. So also if you have any suggestions, anything you can have a question on please feel free to comment i'm not trying to get to everyone's comments respond i'll make videos of things that are pertinent to to this channel and to the fragrance community um also like it show us show me some support on that too but this one is actually i want to send a shout out to trey sense uh he did one where it was fragrances for 40 and up something like that that's and i'm i'm doing the same thing in a sense i I, I would like to say, I'm not sure what I'm going to title it, 35 and up or what, but I don't, this is kind of for the the man or the the individual who has basically their stuff together, you know, their success, mature, um, not for the one going out clubbing and not that you can't do that at any later age or anything, but this is for the one who's, you know, in a good career and has a job or business that's being fruitful and, and it's, it's being successful, so... These are more manly scents. These aren't something that a, a, a teenager is going to wear or someone that's in, you know, a frat boy or something like that. So without further ado, I don't want it to, to last too, too long. I'm going to go with two honorable mentions. Uh, I'll, I'll explain why each are honorable. Uh, first one, we all hear about Aventus. I think it, it, it is a manly scent. It is universal. We can go all the time. But due to batch variations, what people say about that, I think that that tends to lead to other roads that I'm not going to go into. I, I, I have a, I enjoy the one I got. I haven't gone through a whole bunch, so I can't speak on other batches and so forth. But without further ado, Emperor X Street. I think it's a uh, woodier, smokier, not as fruity for sure. Uh, it, it's gonna, it's definitely an X, you know, performs well. Uh, it's long lasting. It comes off very loud at least off my skin. Uh, and for the price, I think the price point on these, you could go to Parfums Vintage and you can find these that are at a, at a pretty decent price. Where Aventus, you're looking at 300 bucks or retail or plus. Um, so I, I just think that for someone who wants to smell successful, manly, and have consistency with variations and so forth, Emperor x -ray, it, it's 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 a great one. If you love Aventus and you, you want the smoke, you're... Uh, what are your batches and break straight this one probably it would be my number one possibly if it wasn't for reformulations now that happens to fragrances from time to time they start out at a certain way and then they have to change them for different reasons so not going to go into that right now um porum dolce and cabana now this is one with the, the sticker as you can tell, mine's kind of worn out, but man, this is a gorgeous. Uh, it's, it's, I, I smell hints of tobacco. I'm not sure that's on note breakdown, but it's classic masculine. This is, you're going to smell like success. I think it is gorgeous. I can't speak for the current formulations, although I hear that they're not, they're just a shadow of what this is. Uh, but if you can, if you have a bottle of this or you can get your bottle of this at a decent price, I wouldn't say go out there and spend exorbitant amounts. But if you can get one of these, it's made in Italy, Italy and it has the sticker, this is a must-have in any man's collection. It is still, I think, can fit as well as when it came out back, I think, in the early 2000s or late 90s. Get your, get, get your, get your nose on this one. It is really, really good. Like I said, if it weren't, for the talk of reformulation and the fact that I hadn't smelled it, I'm just putting an honorable mention on this one. I'm going to have about five to so make it, make it quicker. I don't want to last forever, but the, so drop Boise. Let me see if I can get that in there. So drop Boise by Mancera. This thing is definitely manly. They say it's like a Ventus. I don't quite get that. Although it may be in the same vein maybe because of the woody smokier quality i think it is done very well projects it lasts manceras normally do uh i think it uh it is 
a phenomenal manly fragrance. It it's definitely does not lean anyone so feminine in any way. I think it is, like I said, a successful man, someone who's mature. This is definitely a go-to of you. And and price points on this are, are phenomenal too. They, you ain't exorbitant. You can definitely put it in your collection and feel comfortable with it and get the best bang for your buck, for sure. Now, this one, Dior Homme O. This one is slightly powdery, the iris in there, but I think like the modern business sophisticated man, this fits right in. It is, uh, has slight woody base, but this is classy gentlemen. This is, you're not going to be a projection monster on this. It's going to come off with that iris. You can, a slight bit of powder. If you know the Dior online, it's very iris based. That's what kind of kicked iris into the into into the modern era i think very modern very sophisticated you can't go wrong office scent dressed up you know business casual whatever it might be but you cannot go wrong this it's a gorgeous gorgeous scent it's like i said may lean a little powdery for some of you guys but i do think for the modern man your confident man successful man you can pull this off and you're it's it's going to be a a great add to any collection. So those now the next three, I, not in any particular particular order. I think these are like my top three. I think that they'll fall in and and they're all worthy of being up here. So I'm not going to go in any particular order for say on this one. But this one is a vintage bottle. This is Allure Home um, by Chanel. Ah, classic. Fresh, spicy, aromatic is what comes to mind. This is just, the bottles just, you see the Allure online, they're the ones that get the hype, Allure on Sport, O Extreme. This one's kind of seems to be falling back because it was the, the original one. But my, classic, I think it's classic. I think it's still timeless. I don't think that it's dated in any way, but it definitely exudes more the mature, man it's 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 not for a teeny bopper it's not a clubbing fragrance it's not any of that it's this is straight up you want to smell classy you want to smell like a business man successful and you can do it casually you can do it formal but it is just a very very good scent you won't be you know go get go sniff it go go see how it smells go put it on see how it's i'm sure the newer formulations i can't speak for the newer formulations i did get this one it's a, an older bottle but trust me this is one of those i Never going to be not in my collection. I know I've used this as a signature scent. You hear others rave about it, but it it, it really is. This is Zaharoff Signature Pour On. This thing right here, it has grown on me more and more and more. Uh, it's like a Fruger, Fruger, however you want to say it. It's a barbershop kind of scent in a sense, but modern. Like this is a modern take on it. I'm going to say, they say, say it has oud, which oud, lavender, and incense for sure. And, but it's very clean. There's not musky oud, nothing like that. Just gorgeous, well blended. There's nothing that just sharp and sticks out. Everything's just blended really well. And I want to say it's, 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 it, it does have a retro vibe, but it's done modern. It's time. I, I think you can wear it all occasions. It smells mature. It's not, again, a college boy. It's not a high school kid. It is a man. It is definitely a successful individual. And you're going to come up. It, it, it lasts great, constant, great, great performance. And it just, I think the incense, everything just blended so well that you won't go wrong with it. And for the price point, I know it's, uh, I know he's a designer and, and George, you're awesome. I think you do a lot for the community, a lot for people, and genuinely a great individual. So props to you, my brother. Uh, this thing is, is gorgeous. I'm telling you, get your, especially if you like Fruger's. Lavender is phenomenal. You're going to love it. I think it's it's just classy. You're gonna It's going to be a must-have in any man's collection. Now, the last one, I, I don't know. This is MFK's Amorous Home. 
Hopefully you can see that. This thing right here. Mm. Elegant, classy, smooth, bit woody and aromatic. And just just blended perfectly as, as MFKs are. I'm, this is going to be a little bit on the, the higher end of the price points. Uh, for even for this little bitty 70 mil bottle, uh, it's but it is gorgeous. I'm telling you, just blended, blended so well, and it is just exudes like I was saying, classy, modern man. It is successful, smooth. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. I know many reviewers out there are gonna give you all the note breakdowns. I could sit there and do that for hours too if I. If you really want it, but that's not really my style. I'm just going to tell you how I take it, how it feels for me. And when I got my nose on this for the first time on a, off a sample, I had to add it on. I had to put it in my collection. So, but these are my ones that I would say are mature, manly must haves. Uh, trying to give you some options, something from different price points, but these are definitely for the successful man. And I hope you liked it. Like I said, if you would, the subscribe button down there until we see you again. Back to Titan Fragrance Reviews. Appreciate all that.